So I am back. Again, it's been a long time since I last vlogged. I'm pretty sure I say that now in every single intro for my videos because I never vlog regularly anymore. Sorry about that. Um, we did go to Pycom last week or the week before with Brian. I fell off in both my classes. Don't know why. He doesn't like Pycom. I've owned him for four years this year and he's never once gone clear there. And anyone that knows Brian knows he's a clear round jumper. So, yeah. Let's just say we're never taking him to Pycom ever again because I fell off in both my classes. Not a great warm up for Bowlesworth. Um, we did end up taking him to my friend Scarlett Warrows for arena hire. I'll add a few clips in if I remember. Um, and he jumped on real, was really confident. So it was very strange. I just think that he really dislikes Pycom. So, I'm feeling a little bit nervous for this week. Didn't even tell you where we're going. We're off to Bowlesworth International for the one star with Brian. Um, yeah, my plan was to do the 125 tour, but because of Pike and show, I have dropped him down to the 115. You could like ch swap and change in the one star. So the first day we're going to jump the 115 now, and then I'll go from whatever I'm going to jump in the next day once I've dropped 115 to see how he jumps and whether Pike was just a blip or not. So yes, we are leaving tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Um, last time it took us five and a half hours to get there. And this time my trot up is tomorrow evening because I start jumping Wednesday. Whereas last time we went, I did get there a de an extra day earlier. So we traveled up and then the trot up was the next day. So we want to be there extra early for him to have settled in, for me to ride him, etc. Before the trot up, because where he's 16, he does get quite stiff with traveling. And the last thing I want to do is trot him up and him be stiff, which is normal for an old horse when they're on the lorry for that long. But then foul the trot up and then not me not be able to jump. So... Yes, yeah, so that's the plan. We're leaving at 6am. Hopefully we'll be there for around half 11. Um, obviously I'll keep you guys updated. The lorry's all packed. It's currently like half eight. Um, yes, Brian's been cleaned, bandaged up, so hopefully he doesn't get too dirty. Um, as I said, the lorry's packed here. As you can see, everything is packed, ready to leave tomorrow. We're here, same. Oh God, can you shut the door properly? Just pop and turn the lights off. Um, yeah, everything's packed, all our clothes, everything. And Ryan's calling at me because I haven't given him his hay, so I better go do that. But I've packed all the side lockers up. They're currently locked, so I can't show you what's inside of those, like I usually would, but to be honest, it's just the same as what it usually would be. I think I've shown you the lockers a hundred million times. Oh, he's not even looking at me. He wants his hay. <laughs> so, but yeah, we are off with Ryan. Hi. Hi. I'll give you a hi in a second. He says I'm hungry. As you can see, Brian's all shiny. All looking pretty, ready for the show. So yeah, we're leaving bright and early tomorrow. Just going to rug them up now and finish them off. I'm going to be up at half four to feed and muck out, etc. I'll do all my jobs, make sure that I've packed everything and not forgotten anything. So yeah, going to be a quick, stressful start. But hopefully when we're on the road, it will be worth it because hopefully we're going to beat the traffic. So, yeah, that's it. We're off to Pike, off to Pikeham. We're off to Bowlesworth. I have a sty as well, which is a great start to the week. Um, so, yeah, basically the schedule is off to Bowlesworth tomorrow, trot up, ride him, get settled in. Wednesday, we're jumping the 115. Thursday, we'll jump either the 115 or 125. Then Friday, he has the day off, um, so we'll just chill. I'll just ride him around the showground, etc. I'll just have a chill day. Saturday, I'll be doing either the 115 or the 125 final, depending on how he jumped on the Thursday and the Wednesday. And then, because if I jump the 125 final, it is at half or five in the evening, we won't be leaving until Sunday morning because it's such a long drive for us. Mum doesn't really want to be driving in the dark. We don't want to be packing up that late. So, yeah, we're just going to stay. Yeah, that's the plan. I will see you guys in the morning. And yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys my new tap cleaning stuff that I was very kindly gifted by a friend of mine. Uh, it's a new company called Tours. 
a question is it tours it is tours equestrian um yeah so this is my friend's company tours equestrian she sells tack balm and it's also brought out a hot oil product as well which obviously you hot oil your horses you put the oil in warm water and you wipe over your horses to make their coat all shiny and clean ready for shows it leaves a great shine especially for any of those big shows or if you do showing or dressage etc so yeah i'll quickly show you the products now so these are the products that I have from Tours. So this is the hot oil, oil in the scent almond milk, which smells absolutely amazing. I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet. As you can see, everything is eco-friendly and all natural. So I'm really excited to use this. And I'll show you the before and after later. So yeah, this is the almond milk flavor, flavor <laughs> scent. Um, they are actually coming out with new scents, but obviously I can't tell you that yet. But yeah, I think this is about £15, £14.99 I think it is. So obviously it has the instructions on the back and the multi-use multi options. Use as a hot cloth oil or use as a highlight oil around muzzle, eyes and neck. Then this is the tack balm. So I had three flavours here and I have the two different size options. So these are the minis, which if you don't need a big tub, which are perfect. So they come in coconut, lemongrass, tutti frutti and a lavender. Lavender is the only one I don't have. But obviously I have the two size options so you can see. Um, it's coconut, lemongrass and tutti frutti. They all smell absolutely amazing. Um, I have only actually got to use them once so far. Um, but I can't keep my phone up. But from using them even the once, I really, really like them. I think that they make this... I can't speak. The results were amazing from when I used them the first time. I'll obviously show you when I clean my tech later. But I just found they left a really nice shine. It was They were really easy to apply. Um, obviously, they smell amazing. They're also waterproof, which is great. Especially as, you know, like saddles and bridles with leather. And I find that leather goes a bit weird when it gets wet. So I really love that about them. Um, so this is the lemongrass one. I haven't used this one yet. But yeah, it smells really nice. As you can just see here... I can't even really show you the texture. I just wish that you could be able to smell it through the screen. Um, I have been using the coconut one though. As you'll have seen here. As you can see it's used. Um, I actually love the coconut one. It smells so nice. And then this is my newest one. The Tutti Frutti one. Which smells so good. I just wish. I want to eat this. I wish it was edible. Um, but yeah. That is the products. So I think these are £4.50. The minis. And then the large ones are £14.50. And then the hot oil is £14.99. So make sure to check out the website. It is Tours of Question. I will leave the link down below. Um, I also have a discount code for you guys to use, which is 10% off, which is Keris10, all lowercase. So yeah, if you want to try the products and use my discount code, feel free. I just thought it'd be great for you guys to just have like a little code, just get your couple pounds off your order, just so you can have a trial. Um, obviously, if you want a trial, you can always buy the minis. They're only small, £4.50, you know just to see if you like it or not. But I definitely highly recommend checking them out as it's such a cheap option compared to some of these big tack cleaning brands, whatever. And I just think it works just as well, if not even better. So we're going to start tack cleaning. This is my saddle before. As you can see, it's got a bit of scuff on it where Ryan knocked it on the floor. The other side. Yeah. It's not actually looking too bad to be fair considering. But yeah, this is it before. So we're just going to use some of the coconut tack balm from Tours, as I said earlier, with some warm water and a sponge. And we're going to start cleaning. So 
So as you would have seen, I've just cleaned my saddle. It's looking nice and shiny. Good morning guys, it is about 10 to 5, um, I'm very tired, I can't lie, um, it's still dark, pretty much, it's actually really cold this morning, Ryan's covered in shavings, as you would have seen in the last video, look at you, you've got more shavings than you, you haven't, guys he's just having his breakfast, look at my star eye, my eye is so sore, so sore, what a perfect time to get a style, honestly. I don't think I've ever had a style. I get like the tiny wee little bump ones on like the inside of your eyelid. But like the tiny bumps that you can barely see them, it just irritates you. You never get like big styles. I've got one. Like, I can just tell it's coming. So my eye is so swollen, look. It's horrible, it's so sore. I literally, when I close my eye, like, I feel like I can't close my eye. Um. Anyway, this vlog is not meant to be about my style, so. I'm just going to quickly, just fed them all, just need to quickly hay them, muck them out, and then I will be back talking to you guys quickly, because I've literally got an hour until we leave, so yeah, don't want to take too long. How bad my eyes got. Just brought Brian out for a ride and it starts raining. Absolutely typical, isn't it? Mum's over there with Luna. Infections got worse, as you can see. I literally can barely see at this point, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and see someone for first aid. See if they've got anything for me because I can't continue like this. It hurts so badly. I woke up this morning and my eye was glued together, so that's great. Um, this is the arena. It's currently raining. See a car going up there. So I thought I would update you guys as to what's going on. As you can see, my eye is very swollen. Um, not really the start of the show that I'd have liked, to be honest. Um, I didn't actually have anything with me to put on it because it was actually okay yesterday when we left. It was a little bit swollen, like, I mean, a tiny bit. It wasn't worried, like my mum wasn't worried, I wasn't worried. I just thought maybe I had something in my eye. Or like I had a little style where um, I wore makeup. When we went to the Global Champions Tour, I went with my friend Lee on Saturday, which was, what, four days ago now? Um, so we weren't worried. And then it kind of got worse as yesterday went on and as we were here. Um, and then last night it was quite sore. Um, so then I went to bed, woke up this morning, my eye was like stuck together. Um, so I had to clean it and stuff. And then, yeah, it's basically just been bad since, as you can see. I mean, it keeps on watering. Uh, it's quite, it's very sore, very bloodshot. Um, 
I did go over to medical tent over with the um, paramedics earlier and they washed out with saline for me and like a bit of like gunk and stuff came out they're not quite sure what it is um the initial thought was either conjunctivitis or um what's it called or blepharitis if that's how you say it um but they basically have been saying that it's really swollen and they don't think it's that um they think it might be an, an infection of some sort um they really wanted me to get it checked out um because they don't have anything with them to give me to help it so my mum is actually walking half an hour probably 40 minutes to the nearest chemist because we haven't got a car here and none of our friends here have cars either to take us so yeah mum is walking currently to the chemist for me because as you can see it's very sore um my eyesight is very blurry um it keeps on weeping keeps on like getting all like crusty on like my eyelash line and it's really uncomfortable and i have to jump at um my class starts at one no my class starts at 12 i'm not jumping till half one um so it's not really ideal is it jumping with one eye pretty much so hopefully she can get something for me it's literally just watering constantly as you can see where i'm laying down not really the side of the vlog that you guys probably wanted to listen to because you know it's meant to be a straight up vlog and i am vlogging my eye but i just wanted to keep you guys updated what was going on so i'm just currently in bed with luna so if you can hear anyone snoring it's her um and then i need to clean my tack and yeah wait until mum gets back with hopefully something for me so yeah So we just jumped the first cops. It was an absolute mess. He jumped not very well at all, tapped most of the jumps. Um, we had the last jump down as I asked for a ridiculously long jump, long stride, and he just couldn't do it. So he tipped in and had it down. But to be fair, I don't really know how we didn't have a pole otherwise because yeah, he did not jump great at all. Um, I'll jump him in the 125 tomorrow, so hopefully he jumps better. But we'll see. Just walking off now. What's left? 
nachts. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I My eye feels a lot better today, as you can see. So that's positive. Just gonna go for some grass over here. It's gonna be like half seven, and then I'll update you guys as to how yesterday went. Just a quick update for you guys from yesterday. Um, So we jumped the 125 two phase class yesterday, I just not a single phase, um, instead of the 115, because he didn't really jump the best in the 115, as you would have seen. He tapped quite a few of them. Every single time I try and vlog, if someone comes past or a guy comes past, um, he tapped quite a few of them in the 115, as you would have seen. He didn't jump very well, so I thought, you know what, I'll put him in the 125, see if he jumps any better. He did jump a lot better, to be honest. Um, he made a lot more effort. We did have two down, as you'd have seen. Um, in the second round, in the jump off, the first one was completely my fault. Um, as you've seen, I went a bit too close to the upright, and then I had to push him down the distance to the other side, and he just jumped a bit flat, so had it down. Um, and then the second pole, he just didn't even pick up over. His front legs didn't even try and clear it. Um, I don't really know what happened there. I just don't really think he was concentrating. So yeah, unfortunately, we did have two down. Um, today is currently Friday. That was Thursday. He got today off. Um, and then we'll be jumping the 125 Grand Prix tomorrow. Um, I had the choice either the 125 or the 115, but I've just decided I'll jump in the 125. Um, yeah, because he jumped better bigger, so we'll see. Um, and then at Chepstow next weekend, we're doing the 115 to 125 tour, which is like the first day 115, second day 120, and then the final 125. So, yes. As you can see, and then I'm going to take him back to the stable and go and watch some jumping. So, yeah. Good morning. Um, it is currently Saturday. It is raining now. Just taking Brian for a walk in the rain. Um, I'm not jumping until six o'clock tonight, which is great. Um, so yeah, it's gonna rain all day, probably gonna get soaked. Fingers crossed you jump better, it is the 125 Grand Prix this evening. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be technical, it's gonna be big. So hopefully he jumps well. If not, you know, what can we do? Um, he's got physio on Tuesday, so if he's feeling a little bit tired, hopefully she can help with that. And yeah. Excited, but also not at the same time. Hopefully, I ride well. We'll see. Little update um, one, I'm bare my eye, as you can see, looking so much better. We have no idea what it was. Um, we think it was some sort of infection, 
um, but it's okay now, touch wood. Um, I've been taking eye drops, like an antibiotic eye drops, and it's cleared up really well. I can actually see now, and I don't look like an idiot, so that's great. Just um, getting ready for the 125 final. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It, the weather's not very good, it's been raining all day. Um, I had a look at the course plan, and it looks really technical. Um, it's probably gonna be up to height. It'll probably be like the biggest course technicality and height we've jumped, I think. Um, because yeah, I jumped one one thirty, but the one twenty five have been quite meaty. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it's currently like three o'clock. I think my class starts at like quarter to four, and I'm in at six. I'm sixty six being out of um eighty five, I think it is. So it is like a two round. It's not like an A seven jump off class. If I go clear, jump off separate. But doubt we're gonna jump clear. So yeah. Um, I'm just waiting now to walk the course and hopefully I'll take you guys with me if I can video stuff but if there's loads of people in the arena I won't be so yeah Really, really happy with Brian in the final. Um, we had a couple down, as you would have seen, but considering it was the hardest track we've ever jumped, I thought he jumped really, really well. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm really happy. Like, the results on paper don't show how well he actually jumped. It was really tough, probably the hardest course we've ever jumped. It was really meaty. So, yeah, really happy with him. Just walking him off now. I'm gonna take him back to the stable, give him a wash off, he's really sweaty. And yeah, he can have his ice boots on and then the treats. Flash time. Good boy. Morning, everyone. It is the last day we are going to have him. Um, we're literally leaving in like half an hour. So I'm going to go sort out my stable. And yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Going to pack everything up now to get Brian on. And do the six and a half, six and a half, five and a half to six hour journey home. Ready? Hi! Ready? You're breaking. Me and Luna, we're just waiting for Mum, we're in the petrol station, getting some petrol. We are two hours and a half away from home. It's currently like 11, half 11. So yeah, I'll update you guys when we get home. Um, knackered, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it.
Why don't you feel? I don't. Oh. We are home. Here is Oh hello! That was Ryan. Where is he? Hi. Hey. Can you come say hi? No? Oh, he's got an itch. Hi. Come here. Are you gonna say bye to the vlog with me? Whoa! Oh, that over. Cool. Maybe if I give him scratching, I'll probably start doing it. <laughs> so, stop stepping on the bucket. We're home, as you can see. Brian went out in the field earlier for a bit. Let's have some nice grass, a roll, and a stretch. Um, oh, my eyes are a little bit sore. So don't walk away, come back. Um, yeah, that's it. We are back. Did you see me to be brushed? Um, not the best show, results wise, but. I'm really, really happy with him and how he jumped. Right, right. Hey, I miss you, my little munchkin. I miss you so much. I miss you. He's so cute. I miss you so much. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys. So, yeah, that was it. You obviously saw what happened. Um, we are home. That will be it for this vlog. And the next vlog will be Trip Story International, which we are leaving for in four days, if I'm right. Five days? Four days. So, yeah. Exciting. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in like a week. <laughs>